A very good morning. I am at Luton Airport just outside of London. And I'm about to jump on the bus, head to the terminal and hopefully catch an easy jet flight to Scotland. made it to Inverness. I am Inverness because this is the place where the NC500 starts and the place where the NC500 ends. And over the next seven or eight days, I'm planning to drive it all 514 miles of it or wherever it is. It is supposed to be an extremely scenic coastal route around Northern Scotland that visits lots of towns and villages and hamlets and also mountains and waterfalls and picturesque walks and lots of scenery. I am looking forward to seeing a lot more of it as the week progresses. This is, I'm not sure if this is a lock or this is part of the sea, but I'm now on my way to my first stop, which is a little town called Dornock. I've hired a car and I'm about halfway there. I just came down this little ravine to see what it was about. I'll show you the rental car that I've got. It was pre-arranged, a Dacia Duster. It was supposed to be a Vauxhall Corsa or similar, but I think this is probably the next tier up. Still, it will do me over the next week. So the car cost around about 140 pounds for seven or eight days i can't remember which it was now it might have just gone into eight days and that didn't include insurance on the 1200 pound excess but i have a separate policy of excess insurance for car hire and it's an annual policy that's 60 pounds a year so that's what i'll be using whilst i'm here to cover that excess but look at this beautiful scenery this is just a taste i think of what is going to come over the next week so the nc500 is ahead of me let's get on the road well i've reached destination number one of today the town of dornock and these are the streets of Dornock. Came across a set of steps and thought I'd head up to the top and just see what's about. There's a few things that I wanted to see in Dornock itself. Oh, look at that view over there. Nice. There are some pretty iconic blue flag beaches here, I'm told as well as a pretty nice cathedral in the center of the town. So I think that's where I'm gonna head first of all. Well, up there is the mighty facade of Dornock Cathedral, founded in 1224. 
door there is closed though so I'm going to head around the side here just to see if the side entrance is open it is a impressive building that's for sure it was restored in the 19th century by the Countess of Sutherland and it is the place where Madonna had her son christened her son Rocco apparently on the 21st of December 2000 this is where Rocco was christened and the reason was she was getting married to Guy Ritchie at a castle nearby the next day Let's see if the door is open nope and I don't have the key either so I'm going to head down to a few of these little houses of the graveyard here it looks pretty haunting and then maybe onto the beach so it turns out the church is actually closed it says here phase two of the government's coronavirus roadmap allows churches to open for private prayer none of the churches of Scotland in Sutherland will open in this phase why not because if we did we would have to complete an in-depth risk assessment and then asked you to all of this stuff here so I guess the feeling is they're not ready to do that yet so instead I'll just have to enjoy the look of the church and cathedral I should say from outside few things in Dornoka didn't get to see I didn't get to see the witch's stone which is a commemoration of the last witch that was burnt at the stake in Scotland way back in 1722 there was also a well somewhere in the center of uh, town but I didn't see that either I wandered around for quite a while trying to f figure out where they were but I just couldn't seem to locate them so instead I've walked down to Dornock Beach and I'm gonna have a look at this golden sand I'm told is miles and miles along the shore here of Dornock better keep my eyes peeled for golf balls one of Scotland's best golf courses is just on my left side in fact I came through it on the way down to the beach here Dornock Golf Club and it looks like I can maybe just get through to the beach here so that's what I'll do this is a blue flag beach by the way which means that it's won awards for how clean it is and also how good the facilities are here the sun's come out it's a beautiful day actually here in Scotland not a bad one to greet me and it looks like a really nice place to come and chill out for a while that is incredible back through a little bit of grassland here as much as I'd love to stay here and chill out for a while I'm gonna to have to press on my next stop is hopefully going to be Dunrobin Castle which is further up the East Coast
I only just made it. I was fixing to get here for about half past three. I thought they closed at four o'clock. It turns out they close at half past four, luckily, because I got here about quarter to four and I have made it inside just about done Robin Castle. You can see behind me there on the hill. It is a huge 189 room castle here on the east coast of the Highlands in Scotland. And it has cost me, you can see it up there, 11 pounds to get in, to have a look around the castle and also to access the gardens here close to the sea, which is just over to my right at the moment. Lots of fountains and beautiful garden areas, benches, trees, flowers, really nice place. And it turns out that Dunrobin in Gaelic means Robert's Hill or Robert's Fort. And uh, the fort, the hill, is quite clear to see where that came from but Robert may have come from the 6th Earl of Sutherland so that was one theory behind how the castle got its name but nobody knows for sure but what we do know is that it was lived in for centuries by the Sutherland family and to this day there is still an Earl and a Countess of Sutherland they're an extremely powerful Scottish family that have lived here in the Highlands for as I said centuries and they own huge swaths of land. I mean, most of this area they at one time did own. They may still do actually, but uh, the amount of land, the area is just incredible. Just going through now this little wooded area. Right, check this out. This is what they call dinosaur food. There we go. Look at those massive leaves. I've never seen them that big. What you're actually looking at is rhubarb, believe it or not, but not the normal type of European rhubarb that you get that originated in China. This originated in South America. And you can actually turn these stalks into marmalade. This is day one and episode one of my NC500 series. I'm gonna be doing a, a load of videos on my trek around the NC500, which as I said earlier, is a scenic route around Scotland's northern coastline. There are different ways that you can drive the NC500. You can either drive it clockwise or anti-clockwise, and I've gone for anti-clockwise to do the east coast first, and then the west coast, which is supposed to be more scenic and picturesque it's got something to to beat here i can tell you um but it was i thought best to leave that until last right let's get on our way The wind is getting stronger, but it is a beautiful scene here on Golsby Beach, which is where I am right now. I'm up the shore just a few miles from Dunrobin Castle. And so far it's been a, a really good day. London Luton to Inverness, Inverness to Dornock, Dornock to Dunrobin Castle. And uh, it was really good having a look around the castle in the gardens, but I have made it now to Golsby Beach, as I said, and I think I'm going to end this video here. And uh, I'm going to start the next video by exploring the town of Golsby. And then I'll be heading along to Helmsdale, exploring there for an hour or two. And then trying to find my B&B up the coast in Libster, I think it is. But uh, thanks for watching the video so far. I think it's going to be an incredible trip. What I've seen of the NC500 so far has been great. I'm looking forward to seeing more tomorrow and over the next week. But uh, for now, I'll leave you with a view of the Sutherland Monument, which is way up on top of that hill. It is Scotland's most controversial statue. So if you want to know why, then tune in to my next video and I will explain all. Thanks for watching. Good evening from Scotland.